Craig here and in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to set up and configure the plugin back WP up and have your website backed up and automatically sent to a free dropbox.com account. Now if you've never heard of dropbox.com before it's very much like a Google Drive account where you can have two gigabytes of online storage for free. So to follow along you're going to need a self-hosted WordPress website a free Dropbox account and you're going to have to install a plugin called BackWP Up. So this is a test website and I'm in my admin area. I'm under plugins add new and I'm going to search BackWP Up. So I'm going to hit search plugins. It's going to be the first result. So I'm going to click install now and OK. Now once we activate it's going to give us a new button down here called BackWP Up. Now it has a number of different pages with different options on here but the first thing we have to do is create a job now a job basically is going to have the plugin automatically back up whatever we tell it to do what I want to do is create a full backup so I'm going to call this job full backup so that if ever I need to edit this job I know oh this is the one where I back everything up so moving down here, we have database jobs. Now by default, this plugin backs up all of the database tables, and that's what I recommend you do too. So do not go unchecking any of these, leave everything as is. And scrolling further down, this is where you can decide whether you want to exclude any of the folders and directories. So here we have the root directory, and personally I recommend you back everything up, especially if you're not sure um, what is the WP admin folder. Now here we have two folders which are inside the WP content folder and there's no point in me backing up this backup folder because I don't need to back up a backup folder. Now the upgrades I don't need to back that up so I'm going to exclude those two. Now my plugins I want to make sure they're all backed up so I'll leave that as is. Now this is a test website like I pointed out before and I have loads of different themes that I play around with so I definitely don't need to back up the themes I'm not using so if you have more than you know one theme in here it's up to you but maybe you should exclude the themes that you're not using blog uploads I'm going to back all of those up too now if there's some other directories or folders that you want to include in the backup well you can do that here and it's going to give you the URL to your blog root directory so mine is this one and again, if you want to exclude certain files or folders, you can do that there. There are several different options on backing up and where to send your backup. Now, in this video, I'm just going to cover Dropbox because I believe that's the best option. Because for one, you can create a free account. Now here, backup to folder. This would send backups to your hosting account. Uh, personally, I wouldn't bother with that because if something goes wrong with your hosting, then you've lost your backups anyway. Uh, you back up to email now a blog zip backup is probably going to be too big to email so you, that would return errors if you have hosting elsewhere you can have it backed up and sent to a different hosting account but we want to use the dropbox option now we have to authenticate the dropbox account with this blog so what i recommend you do is in another tab head over to dropbox create your account and hit sign in and then come back to your settings page and we're going to click authenticate and now we have to grant access and click allow so scrolling back down let's make sure that's worked yes authenticated now here we can create its own folder where the backups will go so let's just call this test 123 and the maximum number of backup files to keep at dropbox personally i like to go with free so what that means is it's only ever going to keep free copies so it's not going to backups aren't going to pile up and use all of my online storage now that's all we have to set up with dropbox we're going to scroll up now here make sure you enter in your email address so that if something goes wrong you're notified now the file prefix normally i just leave this as is it's going to be backup underscore one underscore and then it'll have a timestamp and here we get to create a schedule now if this was a website where content was being added daily then perhaps I would back it up daily 
or you know one post a week then do it weekly but this is a test website so I'm going to select monthly and um, we have to click activate scheduling and we can scroll up and then we can hit save changes we can click there to go to the job overview or we can come down here and click on jobs what this is going to tell us here is the size of the database the database itself is only just over a megabyte in size well for this blog anyway and all of the files we're going to back up are around 42 megabytes it's going to be run on February 1st and today is January 17th and it's never been run before now I recommend that when you set a job up you run the job and you create a backup and make sure it's going to work so if you hover over the job you'll see we have a run now so when we click that it will go and perform the job and the page should refresh and it's off doing its stuff so it's you know crunching up the database putting everything in a zip file and uploading it to our Dropbox account now depending on the size of your site then you know it might take a while or it might not so I'm going to press pause while this uploads to Dropbox actually you know what it's already finished the job done in 29 seconds okay so let's go back to Dropbox and I don't need to refresh because I can already see test one two three and here is my zip file so if I needed to download it to restore my website I can click download or you know if I had a web designer that looked after everything I could share the link with them and that's basically how you use this plugin now coming back over to the plugin uh, I'm going to just quickly run over a couple of the other options. Now we have logs. Now if you create jobs, if you check your logs, it's going to give you a status OK if everything uh, went smoothly. And then backups here, it's going to give you some details on what backups you have. And if you click download, it, this is like a direct link to the Dropbox download and tools. I believe tools you're allowed to import your database if something goes wrong you could restore your SQL database and we have some additional settings here generally I never come in here or I don't alter anything now personally I prefer to use a different plugin and have my websites backed up and sent to my Google Drive account now I've already created a tutorial on my YouTube channel which covers this so if you're watching this video on YouTube you can come over here if you want to subscribe click this button and or if you want to find the video I'm talking about you could simply enter in drive into the search and it should locate the video for you uh, another thing I want to point out is on my YouTube channel page you'll see down here we have a Google Plus WordPress community and if you click that link you'll be taken to a Google Plus community where we share WordPress tutorials we do theme and plugin reviews and we also offer support so if you use WordPress and you need help or you want to share tutorials you're more than welcome to join this WordPress community so hopefully my video tutorial helped and you now have your website scheduled to back up daily weekly or monthly however you set it up using the plugin back WPF if you need any help, feel free to post a comment or contact me by my website, thewiseaffiliate.com. Have a great day.